Hi, I'm Nick from Dorman Products. Welcome to our video on our universal washer nozzle kits. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the kits that we have, how to choose one, and then show you how simple it is to install a kit. If you've ever had a clogged or inoperable washer squirter, you know how annoying it is. You might be shooting at the base of the windshield with washer fluid, or maybe you've just got a little dribble coming out and spilling onto the hood. And it's even worse if you live in the salt belt during the winter months. Trying to keep a clean windshield with poor washer nozzles when salt is on the road is almost impossible. End the agony with some Dorman washer nozzles. We sell vehicle specific nozzles, but if we don't have a direct fit replacement for your vehicle application, these universal washer nozzles are just the ticket. They're easy to install and work for a wide range of vehicles with hood mounted sprayers. These universal washer nozzles are also a great option if you're replacing a non-existent washer system or adding one to a vehicle that never had it. Maybe you're building a vehicle or perhaps you've installed a new hood that wasn't drilled. These kits would also be appropriate. These universal kits are very flexible, but in cases of cars with no existing washer system in place, the install can require a bit of work regardless of application because you must plumb the system between the pump and the nozzle when both pieces are in place. When looking at these kits, you'll notice a wide angle kit and a standard kit. Generally, the wide angle kit will be better for vehicles with wider windshields or vehicles where the nozzles are mounted very close to the windshield. The wide pattern helps throw the washer fluid in a wider pattern than the standard kit. It really helps to get fluid everywhere your wipers can use it. Our Proving Grounds tech, Luke, was recently in a shop vehicle and realized a washer nozzle was missing. So this is a perfect opportunity to show you a real life installation using a universal kit. Once you've got your system picked out, you'll begin removal. First, remove any hood insulation or sound ending material. Next, remove the old washer fluid hoses from the nozzles. After that, you can take the old nozzles out. Many will have wings that you need to squeeze before the nozzle pops out of the hole in the hood. Of course, if you don't have any existing system, you can safely ignore most of those steps and start here where the installation begins. If you don't have holes in your hood, you'll need to drill some. The holes for both kits should be drilled with the 1964 inch drill bit. If you have existing holes in the hood, our kits will accommodate quite a few hole sizes, but that is the minimum. You may also find the cowls a convenient and neat mounting spot too, so investigate that area thoroughly. Most insulations perform best between 6 and 18 inches from the base of the windshield. Apply the included rubber grommets, then pass the nozzle through the hole. Underneath, spin the retaining nuts into place by hand. No tools are needed and using them is highly likely to break the hollow plastic nozzle itself. Try to aim them straight to the rear of the car, but don't go crazy since these kits both have fully adjustable washer squirt nozzles. After that, you can start the plumbing. Included are two short pieces of washer hose and some T-connectors. Plumb those up to the washer fluid pump and make sure they're clear of everything under the hood. If you're mounting to the hood and not the cowl, it can help to slowly close the hood by hand and make sure nothing will hit the small nozzles. If you're mounting to the cowl, make sure the hoses will clear the wiper transmission. Once everything is in place, you can test your new system. If the spray isn't hitting the right spot, you can use the included tool to aim and spin the nozzle jets to really fine tune where the fluid hits the windshield. Insert the tip of the tool into the slot jet. A small adjustment goes a really long way here. I'd recommend you check the point of aim when stationary and again after a drive because sometimes the optimal aim point changes during speed. After you're satisfied, reinstall any sound ending material if it exists and you're finished. Hopefully you find this installation guide simple and helpful. If you have any questions or need anything at all during your installation, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always standing by to help. Thanks for checking out our video on this universal washer nozzle kit. I'm Nick and I'll see you next time.